Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this huge, cute, cuddly and easy to make dog. If you're after a written pattern then follow the link in the description box below. To make this dog you're going to need plush yarn in three colours, mustard, white and black for the nose. I'm going to be working this with a 5.5mm crochet hook. In addition to this you're going to need 12mm security eyes, stitch marker, darning needles, pair of scissors and some fiber fill. So make sure you've got all of those components. Now before we start, if you enjoy watching my tutorials, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. We're going to start by working on the head and for this let's grab our white or cream yarn and we're going to work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer and we're going to chain two. One, two. Now from here you're going to skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. That's one, two, three, four, five and six. Once you have your six single crochets you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now this should bring your stitches nice and close together and you're going to start working in a spiral. So this means we're going to be slipping our hook in the first single crochet of your previous round. And here we're going to be working a single crochet, or first single crochet of round two, and going back into that same stitch to work another single crochet in that same stitch. Now when you work two single crochets in the same stitch it's called an increase. So in this round, you're going to be working six increases all together. So here's your second increase. Third increase. Fourth increase. Fifth increase. And my final one, increase number six. Now from here we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch and I'm going to use a stitch marker to identify the start of my rounds. We're going to follow this single crochet on with an increase, so two single crochets in that same stitch. And here's your repeat for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase and we're going to repeat that all the way around till you get to this point here. So go ahead and work this round and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. And we're going to follow this on with a, an increase and then a single crochet. So increase in the next stitch. And single crochet in the stitch after that. And here's your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet, single crochet, increase, single crochet. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. One, two, three, followed on with an increase. And from here you're going to be following this combination and finishing this round. Three single crochet followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. And we're going to be following this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To, to finish one round you're going to need 30 single crochets in a row. Once we've done that, you're going to follow the same method two more times, so you have three rounds of single crochet all together. So go ahead, work three rounds of single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 30. We're now going to start the next round with 12 single crochets in a row. Let's have our first one here and put the stitch marker back in place. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, 
11 and my final number 12 so once you have your 12 single crochets in a row we're going to follow this on with six increases in a row so here's my first increase second increase third increase fourth increase fifth and the final increase number six and there we go once we have done our six increases you should have a total of 12 stitches left to before the end so go ahead and work a single crochet in every one of these stitches there should be 12 in a row and then meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 36 now we're going to finish off with this white color by working a slip stitch in the next stitch let's go ahead and slip this yarn off pull it out of the stitch and secure this by pulling it down we're now going to attach the new colour in the same stitch where we worked our slip stitch. So let's go ahead and pull this in through that same stitch and work a knot. And we're now going to start off by working a chain one, go back into that same stitch and work a single crochet. Once you've worked your single crochet here, you're going to follow that on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you're going to need 36 single crochets in a row. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of one round of single crochets, your stitch count should still be 36. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker, marker back in place. And we're going to follow this on with 11 more single crochets to make the total count to 12. So here's number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Once we worked our twelve single crochets in a row, we're going to follow this on with the combination. So here's your combination. One single crochet followed on with an increase. We're going to be repeating this combination six times. So here's that combination once. Same combination again. One single crochet followed on with an increase. So this is the second time. One single crochet followed on with an increase. It's the third time single crochet increase fourth time single crochet increase fifth time and final time single crochet followed on with an increase and once we have done that you should have a total of 12 stitches left and you're going to work a single crochet in every one of those in a row so go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 42 now before we start the next round we're going to pull on this stitch a little bit so we don't lose it we're going to take a minute and insert some security eyes into this head i'm going to show you how to do this as i as you can see i've already gone ahead and done that so you're going to make sure that the stitch that you finished with is directly at the bottom fold the head flat like this and this will point out exactly where the middle part of the head is so from here, we're going to be inserting the eyes between round eight and nine. So you can count from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So if you were to look at the difference in the color, it will be in the round that's the white one, just before the change of color. So between eight and nine, from this center, you're going to count four stitches over. So that's one, two, three, and fourth one. You will insert the eye there, same on the other side, one two three and the fourth one you'll insert the eye there as well and this should make the eye look perfectly symmetrical on both sides now moving on to the next round we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around 
Now to finish one round, you're going to need 42 single crochets in a row. We're going to be following the same method nine times all together to have nine rounds of single crochet. So go ahead, work nine rounds of single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of nine rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 42. We are now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row. That's one, two, stitch marker back in place, three, four, five. Follow this on with a decrease. So to do this, you're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Five single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 36. We're now going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, Stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three in one go and here's a combination for this round four single crochets followed on with a decrease repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 30. we're now going to work three single crochets in a row one two and three followed on with a decrease pull up a loop from the next two stitches yarn over pull through all three loops that were on your hook and this is your combination for this round three single crochets followed on with the decrease and repeat that all the way around now as you can see the stitches between the gap between your stitches is decreasing so go ahead and work this round fill this head up with fiber fill and meet me back here at the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. One, two, and follow this on with a decrease. Now, here's your repeat for this round. Two single crochets followed on with a decrease. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with one single crochet followed on with a decrease. And here's your combination for this round. Single crochet decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet followed on with a decrease. And we're going to be repeating that all the way around. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 12. We're now going to work our last round of decreases only. So we'll be working six of them all together. Here's my first one. Stitch marker back in place. Second. Third. Fourth. fifth and my final one increase number six now this should bring your stitch count to six you should still have a tiny little gap in between the stitches so you have two options either you can use a darning needle to stitch this up or you can work one more decrease which I'll show you how to you work one more decrease to reduce the size of this gap even more and once it's tiny you can slip stitch in the opposite stitch where you've just finished off so pull up a loop from there make this loop go through the loop that was already on your hook and now from here you're going to snip this yarn off pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place and from here you're going to slip your hook from further away from the head and make it come out from the same stitch where we've just finished yarn over onto the hook and pull this in um, and there we go that finishes the head of this dog now onto the arm let's start off by working a slip knot with your cream color yarn 
slip your hook inside and chain two. One, two. From here, skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And from here, locate your first single crochet of your previous round and work your first stitch of round two in there. That's your first single crochet. Going back into that same stitch to work another. Now in this round, we're going to be working six increases. Here's my third increase. Fifth increase and my final one, increase number six. Once you've worked your six increases, your stitch count should be 12. Now from here, you're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Follow, we're going to be um, using a stitch marker from here on to identify the start of my round. Follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. And here's your repeat for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. We're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you're going to need 18 single crochets in a row. You're going to be following the same method two times to have two rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 18. We're now going to finish off with this white or cream color by working a slip stitch in the next stitch. Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off and pull it out of the stitch. And now we're going to be connecting the new color on. Let's grab that and pull this. Let's turn this the right way around. And from here, you can connect the new color onto any of these stitches, wherever you wish to. So you're going to pull it through the stitch, give it a little knot in place. And we're going to be slipping a hook back inside that stitch, pull up a loop, chain one to begin. Now going back into that same stitch to work a single crochet. Now from here, you're going to be following this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. So you're going to have another round of just single crochet. Once you've done that, you're going to follow the same method two more times. So you have three rounds of single crochet, this time in the mustard color that you're using. So go ahead, work three rounds of single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 18. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And here's your repeat for this round. One single crochet followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 12. Now we're going to start the next round with one single crochet in our first stitch and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round you're going to need 12 single crochets in a row. Once we have worked that you're going to follow the same method 12 times all together to have 12 rounds of single crochet. Now as you can see this gap between the stitches is quite small so when we are working the rest next few rounds the length is going to increase but the gap will stay the same so as you're working it you're going to be stuffing this up with some fiber fill so go ahead stuff this part up with some fiber fill nicely nice and well and then from here on work a few stitches stuff up some more and then you're going to fill the arm three quarters of the way and then meet me back here at the end of 12 rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be the same going to make sure that you've stuffed the arm up three quarters of the way with fiber fill and now we're going to be closing this gap off so fold the top 
close like this and you're going to slip your need uh, your hook in the next stitch and guide it to come out from the back of these stitches as well so if I pull this apart you can see it's gone from the front and the back of these stitches in one go yarn over pull up a loop two loops on your hook yarn over pull through both that's your first single crochet just like this you're going to work a single crochet all the way to the end And there we go. So once you've worked your six single crochets across the top, you're going to chain one and we're going to snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. Pull this out and pull this down to secure it in place. Go ahead, follow the same instructions one more time to make another one of these. Onto the legs and for this let's go ahead and start off by working a slip knot and we're going to chain two. And two. From here you're going to skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And from here, you're going to start round two by working an increase in your first stitch. So first single crochet of your previous round. And in this round, you're going to have six increases altogether. Here's your second increase. third increase, fourth increase, fifth increase and the final one increase number six. We're going to, um, this should bring your stitch count to 12. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch, stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. Now from here you're going to follow this repeat and work these stitches all the way around. So one single crochet followed on with an increase, repeat that all the way around and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch, stitch marker back in place we're going to follow the single crochet on with an increase and we're going to have a single crochet in the next stitch here too. So here's your repeat for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, one single crochet, single crochet, increase, single crochet. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. We are going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around to finish one round you're going to need 24 single crochets in a row we're going to be following the same method one more time after that to have two rounds of just single crochet go ahead and work two rounds of single crochet and meet me back here at the end of two rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 24 we're now going to finish off with this white colour by working a slip stitch in the next stitch. Go ahead and snip this yarn off, pull it out. And we are now going to change the colour over to the colour of the rest of the body. So we're going to connect this new colour onto any of these stitches on the top. Pull it through. We're going to tie a knot to secure it in place. Slip your hook back in and we're going to start off by working a chain one. We're going back in that same stitch to work a single crochet. Now from here you're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. 
So in our total, you're going to need 24 single crochets in a row. We're going to follow the same method three times to have three rounds of single crochets. So go ahead, work three rounds of single crochets in this colour and then meet me back here. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 24. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Stitch marker back in place. We're going to follow that on with a decrease. To work this, you're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And here's your combination for this round. Through two single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. Crochet in our first stitch, stitch marker back in place. We're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. In total, you're going to need 18 single crochets in a row. Once we work that round, you're going to follow the same instructions four more times to have five rounds of single crochet all together. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of five rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 18. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. And we're going to follow this on with a decrease. Three uh, loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And here's your repeat for this round. One single crochet followed on with a decrease, repeat that all the way around. Now as you can see there is a huge gap between the stitches at this point but it will be reducing as we are working our stitches. So make sure to fill this leg up with fibre fill as we are working these stitches. So go ahead and work this round and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 12. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round you're going to need 12 single crochets in a row. Once we have done that you're going to follow the same method four more times to have five rounds of single crochets all together. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of five rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 12. Make sure you've stuffed this leg up with some fibre fill all the way to the top and now we're going to be folding the top close like this and we're going to work a few stitches across the top. We're going to be working six single crochets across. So slip your hook in the next stitch, guide it to come out from the back as well, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet and just like this we're going to be working our way all the way across. Here's second, here's third, fourth, fifth and the sixth one right here. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to snip this yarn off leaving a long tail and pull this out of this stitch pull this down and that completes the length now you're going to follow the same instructions one more time to create another one of these now onto the body and for this we're going to start with the main color of the dog and work a slip knot and from here we're going to chain two one and two from here you're going to skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between the stitches. And once we have done that, this should bring your stitches close together and we're going to start round two. Slip your hook in the top part of your first single crochet of your previous round and we're going to work an increase in there. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And in this round we're going to be working six increases. So that's one increase. Increase number two. Increase number three. Five and my final one, number six. Now, from here, you're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's use a stitch marker to identify the start of our rounds, and we're going to follow this on with an increase. 
to two single crochets in that same stitch. Now from here you're going to be following this combination to finish this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch, stitch marker back in place, follow this on with an increase and then another single crochet here. And here's your combination for this round, single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet, single crochet, increase, single crochet, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. One, two, three, followed on with an increase in the next stitch. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Followed on with an increase. Followed on with two more single crochets. That's one and two. And here's your combination for this round. Two single crochets followed on with an increase, two single crochets. Two single crochets followed on with an increase, two single crochets. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. We're now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, five, followed on with an increase. And here's your combination for this round. Five single crochets followed on with an increase. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 42. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch, stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow that single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. Finish this round with 42 single crochets in a row. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of your round of single crochet stitch count is still 42. We're now going to start the next round with 8 single crochets in a row. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now from here we're going to be connecting some legs onto this body. So to do this you're going to grab one of the legs and we're going to hold this right next to the stitches along the top. And the next few stitches we're going to be working them through the leg and the body at the same time. So let's move the tail end out of the way and we've got six stitches on the top so we're going to be working next six single crochets through it. Let's show you how. Slip your hook in the next stitch and we're going to be following that and making that go through the back as well like this. And from here yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through both. Next one slip that into the next stitch, make it go through the stitch at the back and the third one fourth fifth and final one number six so once you've worked your six single crochets connecting the leg and the body together you're going to follow that on with 14 single crochets in a row so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 and 14. Let's grab the second leg, hold it along the top just like this as we did before. 
move the uh, move this strand out of the way and we're going to slip this hook in the first stitch make it go through the stitches at the back and work your first single crochet here so that's your first one here we're going to work six across the top to connect the body and the leg together here's your second here's the third one fourth fifth and my final one six and you should have eight stitches left till the end so we're going to go ahead and work those eight single crochets so that's one two three four five six seven and eight now we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch stitch marker back in place and we're going to be following this single crochet on with another single crochet in the next stitch followed on with single crochets in every single one of these stitches all the way around so to finish this round you're going to need 42 single crochets in a row once you've done that you're going to follow the same method one more time to have another round of single crochet so go ahead work two rounds of single crochets and then meet me back here at the end of two rounds of single crochet stitch count should still be 42 now I'm going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row. So here's my first. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth, followed on with a decrease. So slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Stitch after that, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Five single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. Follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. You're going to be working two rounds of single crochet with 36 single crochets in each row. So go ahead, work that and meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 36. We're now going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row. Here's two. Three. Four. Followed on with a decrease. And here's your combination for this round. Four single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and we're going to follow this on with 29 more single crochets in a row to finish this round. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round of single crochets your stitch count should still be 30. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. That's one, two, and three followed on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three and there we go this is your combination three single crochets followed on with a decrease repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitch stitches all the way around and you're going to need 24 single crochets in a row to finish one round you're going to be following the same method three times all together to have three rounds of just single crochet go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of three rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 24. now I'm going to start the next round with six single crochets in a row Here's my first stitch mark back in place. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets in your in a row, you're going to grab one of the arms and we're going to be stitching that in this round. 
So just like we did with the leg, we're going to hold the arm, the edge of the arm alongside the body and work six single crochets across the top. Now while, before we do that, we're going to make sure we hold it in the right place and make sure that the arm and the leg are actually in line with one another. So once you've checked that and they are, then you can go ahead and stitch them or uh, work your next six stitches. Move this tail out of the way and let's go ahead and work the next six single crochets. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch on the arm and we're going to slip your hook in the stitch on the body. Now, yarn over, pull up a loop from both like this and work a single crochet here. That's your first single crochet connecting the arm and the body together. Here's your second. Here's third, fourth, fifth, and the final one, number six. And there we go. Once you've done that, this should att attach the arm onto the body, like this, perfectly done. And from here, you're going to work six single crochets in the front, and then you should be left with six single crochets here. So you're going to be working another six single crochets joining the arm onto the body. Let's go ahead and work this together. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So once I've done my six single crochets in the front, I'm going to grab the second arm and attach it across the top of the body. So move this tail end out of the way, slip your hook in the corner of the arm and make it go through the back of the stitches on the body as well. So making it through both of these bits like this. And work your first single crochet, second, third, fourth, fifth, and your final one, number six. And once we have done this, this should make your stitch count or bring your stitch count to 24. So we're going to start the next round by working two single crochets in a row. One, and two, stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this, these two single crochets on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Two single crochets followed on with a decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're going to work our final round of just single crochets. So here's my first one, stitch marker back in place. So go ahead, work a one whole round of single crochets all the way around and then meet me back here. At the end of your one round of single crochet, your stitch count should still be the same. We're now going to finish off with this body by working a slip stitch in the next stitch. And we're going to go ahead and snip this yarn off Pull it out of the stitch and pull this down and there we go and this finishes the body of this dog now make sure you stuff this up with some fiber fill nice and well so it retains the shape to start round one you're going to skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And now slip your hook in the top part of your first single crochet of your previous round and work an increase there. That's my first single crochet. Going back in that same stitch to work another stitch marker in place. 
Follow this on with five more increases in a row. So in this round, you're working six increases all together. Here's my fourth increase. Fifth increase. And my final increase number six. Now this should bring your stitch count to 12. We're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with an increase in the next stitch. And here's your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around till you get to this point. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. Now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. And we're going to follow that single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round you're going to need 18 single crochets in a row. At the end of one round a single crochet your stitch count should still be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with an increase. And then we're going to be working a single crochet after that. And here's your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, a single crochet. Single crochet, increase, single crochet. Repeat that combination all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around to finish one round you're going to need 24 single crochets in a row once we have done that you're going to follow the same method one more time so we have two rounds of just single crochet so go ahead work two rounds of single crochet and meet me back here at the end of two rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 24 now I'm going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row Stitch marker back in place and follow these three single crochets on with an increase. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 30. Now going to start the next round with a single crochet, pop the stitch marker back in place, follow the single crochet on with the single crochet in every one of these stitches going to need 30 in a row to finish one round. We're going to be following the same method three times all together to have three rounds of single crochet. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 30. We're going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. That's one, two, and three. Let's put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow these three single crochets on with a decrease. To do this, you're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. Now here's your repeat, three single crochets followed on with a decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. You're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. You're going to need 24 single crochets in a row to finish one round. You're going to follow the same method three times all together to have three rounds of just single crochet. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 24. Now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Going to follow that on with a decrease, pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Two single crochets followed on with a decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. And we're going to be following that with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. You're going to need 18 single crochets in a row to finish one round. You're going to be following the same method three times to have three rounds of single crochet. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. 
At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. And we're going to follow this on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And here's your repeat for this round. One single crochet followed on with a decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 12. We're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. So to finish one round you're going to need 12 single crochets in a row. Once you've done that you're going to follow the same method three times all together to have three rounds of single crochet. Go ahead and do that and meet me back here. At the end of three rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 12. We're now going to fold the top close and we're going to work a few stitches across the top closing the gap between the ear. So to do this you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch and guide it to come out from the stitch at the back as well. So if I pull these apart, I've made my way through the front and the back of these stitches in one go. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. And that's my first single crochet. And just like this, we're going to work all the way to the end and work one single crochet in each of these stitches. All together, you should be able to work six single crochets in a row. That's my fourth one fifth and final number six and once you've worked your six single crochets you're going to chain one and let's go ahead and snip this yarn off leaving a long tail pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place fold the ear flat and there we go that's one of the ears done going to be following the same method another time to make another one of these now onto the tail, let's go ahead and start by working a slip knot and chain two. One, two. From here you're going to skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches and we're going to start round two by working six single crochets in a row. So we're going to be working one single crochet in each of these stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now once you have your six single crochets you're going to start round three and we're going to begin by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's use a stitch marker from here to identify the start of our rounds and we're going to follow this single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. We should be able to repeat this combination three times. So here's my second time. One single crochet followed on with an increase. And the last time, one single crochet followed on with an increase. And once we've done that, this finishes our round three. So stitch count should be nine at this point. Going to be turning it the right way around and from here we're going to be working nine single crochets in a row. Once you've done that you're going to follow the same method seven times to have seven rounds of single crochet. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of seven rounds of single crochet a stitch count should still be nine. We're going to fasten off by working a slip stitch in the next stitch. Let's go ahead and Snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail, and pull this out and pull this down to secure it in place. And this finishes the tail of this dog. We're now going to work on adding some finer details onto this dog. And as you can see, we're going to be starting off with some paw marks. So here's the normal leg as we created it. We're going to create a paw at the bottom of the foot and at the bottom of the arm to make it look like this. So to do this you're going to need a darning needle that's threaded with black yarn 
then we're going to be making this the whole foot or the bottom of the foot divided into three equal parts and you're going to be doing this just by looking at it because there is no particular way to describe this so we're going to keep about three stitches in the middle so one two three I'm going to insert this needle at the edge of the third round now when you're doing this you're going to be putting inserting this in between the the change of color as you can see we change the color from cream to mustard here so that's where I'm inserting this now you're going to guide this to come out from the back around the same sort of round so let's guide it to come out from that same space where we change the color between the rounds now we're going to pull this thread out and we can go ahead and snip this off and to create the pull mark, you're going to pull this thread in and give these two bits of black yarn a little knot in place. And when you're doing this, you're going to pull on this quite hard and this will create a ridge. But before you do that, make sure that it's um, straight. So from here, I'm going to pull on this and this creates a ridge in place. Let's secure this by working another not in place. Once we've done that you're going to be using your darning needle or your hook whichever one you find better. Guide it to come out from the same stitch where we've just knotted these two. Yarn over onto your hook and simply pull this in and out through this stitch. That hasn't come out right so let's do that one more time. And there we go. Once we've done that you can go ahead and snip these two bits of yarn off now give it a little squeeze and that black yarn should disappear now from here we're going to create the other line so let's go ahead and thread our darning needle with black yarn again and we're going to keep about three stitches in between and repeat the same process on the other side insert your needle between those two chain rounds and guide it to come out from the back so keep three uh, stitches in between here as well. So it should come out from here. There we go. Once you are happy with the positioning, we can go ahead and snip the extra bit of yarn off. And we're going to give this a knot. Now when you're knotting this in place, you need to make sure that the knot is sitting on top of the stitch, not in the middle somewhere, because otherwise it will be visible. So we are pulling this. Keep it straight, pull it up on the top and pull it tight and this will create this look. Double knot, grab your darning, uh, darning needle or a uh, hook and work these ends in. And there we go and that is how you're going to be creating paws so we're going to do the same thing on the arms as well so go ahead and do that and meet me back here now onto the nose we're going to take some plush yarn and thread it into your darning needle and embroider the nose out I'd like the nose for this dog to be about four or five stitches wide we're going to be starting the nose embroidery between round five and six so here's round one two three four five six so these two rounds just between here is where we're going to start so i want the nose to be one two three four 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 stitches wide so from here i'm going to insert this needle in making sure that those four stitches that i've caught are centrally positioned between the eyes and once you're happy with the positioning You're going to pull this out. We're going to be repeating the same process a few times. So we have a few strands that are overlapping. That's the first one. Each time when you do this, you're going to make sure that the threads sit side by side. So it covers a longer section. Like this at the bottom. We're going to do this four times.
So one, two, three, and the last time, fourth strand is right here. Gently pull this. And now we are going to uh, take these two bits of yarn and we're going to be uh, making a knot in place here, but don't lose the thread into from your needle at, just yet. So we're going to cut the thread that doesn't have the needle on, so one of the ends. Let's go ahead and work a knot in the corner so we can get rid of this thread from here in a minute. Double knot in place so it's nice and secure. And there we go, we've embroidered the nose, now onto the mouth. And for this you're going to be using this black bit of yarn, insert it back into that same stitch guided to come out from the center, right from the center of this nose area, like this. Pull it out and we're going to simply make one line coming downwards and that's going to represent the mouth of this dog. And I'm going to be taking you all the way to the center right here. So make it go through the center of the first round, make it come out from this part again where we've just inserted the needle from pull it in and that's the mouth of the dog done and you're going to now this looks a bit small so we can go ahead and adjust it at this point because later once we tie the knot it won't be able to we won't be able to adjust it so i would like it to be a little bit longer so i'm going to be inserting it two rounds below the center so here's the center one, two, two rounds below, and this is where I'm inserting it now. Make guided to come out from that same stitch again, just like before, and pull this through, and that looks much better to me. And from here, you can go ahead and give these two bits of yarn a little knot in place again. And from here, you're going to use your hook to pull these two strands in. So slip your hook from further away, make it come out from that same stitch where we've just uh, made the knot, yarn over onto your hook and pull this in. So let's slip this off here so we can pull it in all the way and I could get rid of it inside, I don't have to uh, take it out from there. Now that completes the mouth of this dog. You can give this a little pull so it's nice and secure. And there we go, that completes the nose of this dog. Moving on to the ears. For this you're going to be threading this bit of yarn into your darning needle and we're going to be sewing this um, ear on to the uh, mustard part and we're going to be counting the rounds from where we change the color over so that's round one let's call it one two three four and we're going to be stitching that on round just uh, on the round five so the fifth round on the mustard part if you were to kind of count it from the center it would be round 14. so from here i'm going to use the eyes as my guidance point so from here i'm going to be stitching the ear two rounds above so this is the round where this the eye is in line with the eye but i'm going to have it two rounds above so here it should be so i'm going to hold this in place and stitch it on the head so catch one stitch so one two three four it needs to be around round five so catch one stitch around round five and then go back into the the ear as well and just like this you're going to make your way across attaching and sewing one stitch at a time stitch here. Once we work through the last stitch as well, we're going to insert the needle back into that same stitch, 
flip the ear of, um, up and we're going to guide the needle to come out from the bottom of it. Now here we're going to be securing this in place by catching one stitch, so isolate just one stitch like this and create a loop with your thread. Insert your needle back in into the same loop and we're going to pull this down. This creates a knot in place and secures your thread in. And there we go. If you wish to do it one more time, you certainly can. I'm going to do that. And once you have that nice and secure, you're going to slip this needle back into that same stitch, guide it to go through some fibre fill, come out from another side of the head, pull it out, and we can now go ahead and snip this off. And there we have it. The ear of this dog is now attached. Go ahead and do the other one as well, then meet me back here. Now onto the tail, and for this we're going to be making sure that the stitch that we finish with is on one side. Pinch the top, and we're going to be sewing this tail in the same line or the same row as the legs. So there's the legs, we're going to be sewing this in the centre here. Keep about the same amount of stitches on both sides, so it's centrally positioned. And catch one stitch on the body make it go through the stitches on the tail the top of the tail and make your way across each time you're making sure that you've gone through the stitches in the front and the back of the tail like this and make your way across to the end There we go, last stitch here. So from here, you're going to slip it, um, this needle back into that same stitch, guide it to come out from the back of the tail. And from here, you're going to isolate one single stitch, create a loop, slip your needle back into that stitch or this loop, and pull this down. And that creates a knot in place. Now we're going to slip this needle back inside the same space and we're going to guide it to go through some fibre fill and make it come out from another side of the body and pull this down. Now I'm going to just do this one more time. And there we go. From here you can go ahead and snip this yarn off and the tail is now attached. We're now going to stitch the head and the body together and for this we're going to thread this bit of yarn into your darning needle first of all and then we're going to line up round 11 on the body or on the head with the body here. So, so there's round 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's this round here. So holding the head straight in the front, you're going to line the front of the neck with round 11 so let's see it's two rounds below where we change the color this one here so holding that in place we're going to catch one stitch on the head one stitch on the body and stitch the two components together going to hold in make sure that the neck is in the right place okay now once i know exactly where to stitch the head we're going to catch one stitch on the neck or on the head like this and attach this part just by holding one bit. Now lay the dog flat so the body is flat on the floor as well or on the table and now we're going to double check that it's symmetrical on both sides so that looks perfectly symmetrical if I was to sew it here. And that's great that's where I want it to be now holding them in place you're going to catch one stitch on the body and one stitch on the neck so slip it in pull this one stitch on the body and one stitch on the neck
And just like this, you're going to make your way all the way around and meet me back when you get to the point where we have started connecting. So go ahead, attach the rest of it and meet me back here. I've now made my way all the way around. We're going to work the final stitch together. And from here, once you've done that, you're going to isolate one stitch. Create a loop with your thread. Slip your needle inside that loop and pull this down gently and this will create a knot in place and once that's done you're going to slip your needle back inside that same space same stitch make it make your needle go through some fiber fill and come out from another side of the head and just work this end in like this and i can now go ahead and snip this off and give the head a little squeeze so everything goes back to its original place and there we go that completes this dog it's so big that we can't fit it on the screen fully properly there we are now this finishes our dog if you enjoyed making this lovely huge dog with me be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching